The Department of Mechanical Engineering at University of Minnesota is just to educate students to turn them into next generation scientists and engineers who can really tackle the, the challenges in the society. When you think of mechanical engineering, you often think of cars and engines, and we do specialize in those more traditional mechanical engineering areas. We do combustion. We also have design and manufacturing, sensing and controls. But we are also very historically strong in other thermal science core areas like heat transfer, more recently fluid mechanics, and one of the newer areas of interest have been in plasmas, particle technology, and bioengineering and biosciences. We're not a very big department, but there is a lot of diversity in it. The mission of our department is to educate next generation engineers and scientists who can change the world. Well, the Department of Mechanical Engineering here at the University of Minnesota is really unique because we have several areas of research and competence that are not necessarily present in other uh, ME departments across the country. My students embrace the philosophy of being fearless, and that means understanding that it takes hard work and perseverance to make discoveries and pursue excellence, but also being unafraid to uh, ask hard questions and step outside of their technical comfort zone. Last summer, my team uh, launched a research payload into near space, and we wanted to understand how the nanophotonic materials that we uh, design and develop here at the university behave in the harsh environment uh, of space where there is much stronger radiation and much larger temperature swings. And our objective, our goal is to, for these materials to become new coatings that could be used in spacecraft or in future lunar and Mars habitats. Here at the University of Minnesota, we benefit tremendously from the fact that the sciences and engineering are integrated under one umbrella. So the University of Minnesota was recently selected as one of the top universities for interdisciplinary research. My research is highly indisciplinary, so I think this is really a very good match uh, between my research, but I think and also many other research areas. Our group is doing a lot of work on plasma-liquid interaction that has a broad range of applications, going from innovative material synthesis to water treatment. You can, for example, think about forever chemicals that plasmas are able to effectively decompose and, and clean up water strings. And so we are really looking into trying to understand the processes that in the future can help us make better technology of plasma devices to do water treatment or to make uh, innovative materials. We're developing bearingless motors to enable the next generation of sustainable energy systems. We're working on bearingless motors for things like concentrated solar power, uh, HVAC chillers, all this technology needs a motor that is very long lasting and doesn't have any oil lubrication for the bearings. So our motors are able to provide a, a contact free and oil free solution for a lot of applications that are really important for sustainability. What makes the eLev lab so unique is that we work on the complete swath of motor technology from control to design to manufacturing to testing. Uh, one of the things that makes this department very unique is its ability to assimilate people from very diverse scientific backgrounds. My lab as an engineering lab uh, invents new tools that allows us to record very large scale neural activity from the brains of mice. This is impacting the neuroscience world by helping us get new insights into how the brain is mediating really complex behaviors that weren't studied before. The advice that I give to uh, young researchers entering the field is to develop a strong foundation in physics and math, to master computational tools early, to understand the limits of what's experimentally possible, um, but most importantly, to stay curious and to keep reading and learning. For students and, and researchers that are really excited about being engaged in interdisciplinary research, I think the University of Minnesota is really the place to be. People come from very different, diverse scientific backgrounds can come in and find a home and really succeed and thrive in this environment. I think this is a great place. It's a very dynamic place. I think just having access to these really interesting applications, opportunities to work on interdisciplinary research is very exciting. At the same time, we do take fundamental science very, very seriously. I think having both is such a unique strength that we have and you should definitely join us. <laughs>